Greetings, greetings, my fellow descendants. It's your boy, right? Check Pro, and I'm back with yet another tutorial. As promised, I did tell learners on my group that I'll be doing a tutorial related to cartoons because of the high demand for it. Okay, guys? Uh, okay, guys. So, let me try and write that down. You guys know very well that I'm not good in writing, so I highly recommend that you get your pen and paper so that you can record each and everything that I'm going to be putting on the screen because i have a very 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 unhealthy handwriting right guys so i advise you to get a book pen and paper and record everything that i'm going to say right here right guys um just before we continue please do me a favor please subscribe to my youtube channel right just hit the subscribe button right there follow us on facebook it's side masters on facebook guys side masters zero on facebook and follow us on tiktok as well at side masters underscore zeta we have tutorials there as well guys okay and last but not least join our whatsapp group the link is in the comment section and on the description of each and every video okay guys join the whatsapp group for a more enhanced experience where you guys can actually ask me questions regarding the lessons and everything like that and you get notes so all different styles of learnings of learning actually my bad um I represented in that group so it will be a great idea for you guys to join that group okay guys and i also host cross nights from english maths and physics so you're gonna get updated on that if you join the group guys thank you very much guys so let's get to the lesson now uh you guys know very well that i usually use the 2019 uh english paper as you can see right there guys 2019 so if you have this paper with you you can just open up that paper if you have an extra cell phone or something like that then we can look into it together right now how i teach guys for those of you who don't know i don't usually answer the questions i skim through the questions the most important thing is that i must explain um the whole content of the the the, the, the topic and actually enlighten you you understand and show you that this thing is not really difficult I don't usually give answers because giving answers is actually spoon feeding. So I believe in giving you how the content works and how the topic works. And then you use all those applications to answer the questions. So we have a cartoon here called Text E Cartoon uh, by Jerry Scott and Jimmy Bochman. Now, I want us to treat this as a comprehension. For those of you who have uh, watched my English comprehension uh, tutorial, you already know how we work, okay, guys? That we do not start by reading or looking at the cartoon, okay, guys? We're going to treat this as a comprehension. It's similar, guys. Ne? The only difference is that now this one is visually represented and the speech here, but it's very much similar. Now, what we do, our first step is that uh, we go into a read. R, we are going to read the questions. Now, guys, I want you to be careful of something. Né? As we're reading these questions, we are trying to save time, but we're not reading to understand, but we're just giving ourselves a general idea of what the question is. Those who uh, uh, who have watched my tutorial about English, they know very well that, okay, we read those questions first just to get a clear understanding, not to actually read the questions to understand or answer, but we're just browsing through the questions so that we can know, it's, okay, they're expecting this from me and they're not expecting this from me. So, guys... The first thing we're going to do is read. Right. But we're not reading for understanding because we're just browsing. Okay. So now as we browse, uh, refer to frame one and frame two. Yeah, discuss the mother's tone. Refer. So you already know what you are expected to do. Right. And then the second step is that now you are going to go to the cartoonist itself. Right. And you are going to browse through as well. Right. So you're going to. Just, you know, skim around it, you know, just browse through. Let me write B here. Yeah? Read. Then, yeah, it's B. Uh, you're going to just uh, browse, right? You are just going to browse through. Okay, guys. Let me do this easily and safely in a perfect manner. So, you're going to browse through, guys, okay? And as you browse through, browsing through is going to enable us... Um, to also get a clear indication of what uh, the, the text is about. Okay, guys. Just to get an idea what we are dealing with here, you know. Having a general idea or a general overlook of something is 
often advantages in a lot, uh, uh, most cases okay guys so browse read you browse and then let's see after you browse through guys now you can start now with the question what do you do before you start with the question we go to the questions again now we read the questions with thorough understanding so that we know exactly what is expected of us so that when you go to the cartoon itself we already know that okay this could actually lead to an answer of what i've read before okay guys so we read these questions again so i'm going to write r2 this is how i teach guys my apologies but i i always make sure that uh i, I create um convenient methods of learning so i like shortening things i don't like long cuts okay so r2 ne. right this is a formula guys this is a formula now that you're reading now we are going to read the text now so i'm going to call this one rt because now we're actually reading this text uh, like for real for real for real now okay guys r t okay guys so now we have this formula which means we are going to read those questions by browsing and then we browse the cartoon itself and then we read the questions with thorough understanding now the second time then we read the text or cartoon ne? right guys now most of the work is already done ne? now this thing is similar to a comprehension guys i'm not gonna go deep into it because all you have to do is just watch my comprehension tutorial and everything's gonna be much more easier now i want you to look at something let's look at the questions ne? i want to show you something uh refer to frame one and frame two explain the word explain is also a key word when i was explaining the comprehension and i explained very briefly actually what explain wants you to do in terms of like answering a comprehension right let's look at uh the second question discuss i already spoke about discussing in the previous tutorial of english okay guys but i'm gonna try and remind you guys some of them okay right can you see that this thing is so similar to to to, to the comprehension it's just that now we are dealing with a visual representation and speech that's it uh assess the effectiveness effectiveness is, is something that you also find in the comprehension in most of the time comment as well words that you find in the comprehension very easy for you to kill this one if you know how to deal with the comprehension all you have to do is just mix the knowledge of answering and comprehension and apply it on a visual representation and speech. Now, let's see. Let me make an example. This, I'm not going to go deep into this because it's very easy. If they say to us, uh, we must, I'm going to start with the last question. I'm not going to answer, but I'm going to explain. Comment on both the visual and verb verbal cues, right? What is commenting, guys, according to what we did in the comprehension? Do you still remember that when we're commenting, we must be able to do what? Think about commenting on Facebook. Think about commenting on Instagram, right? You must try and give your own personal uh, view about a certain thing. Okay, guys? You must try and assess. So now listen to me. You are given this question. They say assess on both the verbal and the verbal cues. So the visual and verbal cues, my bad. So all you got to do right here. It's simple. You are going to assess, comment on the visual cues first, right? And then you comment on the verbal cues. Now, note something. When we comment, we do not, according to, our, to, to English home language, when we comment, uh, we do not give the positive aspect and negative aspect. Never. We comment according to how we personally feel and we stick to that, right? So in this question, they want you to comment on two things. So you want to comment on the first one, on what you think about it, or what you see, or what you're observing. Then you comment about the second one, on what you see, or what you're observing. But you're never giving two sides of it, right? So if you think, like, for example, that the verbal cues are, 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 are not understandable, then you cannot say, on the other hand, but they, are, they look nice. No, you can't do that. Because we are not critically commenting. We only say the bad and the good when we are criticizing, which means critically comment so in this case we are not critically commenting so if you can go back to my english tutorial this will make much more sense these keywords were explained in full and i attached notes on the tutorial 
for comprehension. So if you understand the comprehension, you're definitely getting a total on this one, right? Because you understand the keywords. All you have to do is apply those keywords to your visual representation and speech. Right, guys? So I made an example on comment that you're only commenting. And then assess, guys. When in class they say you have an assessment, you have an assessment. Okay, guys. Now, an assessment is what? It's something, it's like a test, right? They want to see if you are, you are, you, you, you cooperating in class or you understand the module or whatsoever, right? We are assessing, we are weighing you. Look at assessment as a scale whereby somebody sits on top of a scale to see how much they weigh, right, guys? Yes. So that's what we're doing. We are assessing the effectiveness. Now, what is the effectiveness? When something is effective, guys, come on. We know that it's, it, 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 it has an effect. Okay, guys? It has an effect. So we want to know ne, the technique that they used in this particular case for mom. Mom. Okay, guys? The technique that they used here. Whatever it is, is it effective? So how do you answer this type of a question, guys? Your first step will be to identify that that technique okay guys you identify the technique you identify the technique i'm not actually supposed to say this because it's on the comprehension you identify the technique you write it down the teacher must be able to see the technique or the marker must be able to see that technique right you identify the technique you're getting a mark now let's talk about that technique how are they using that technique to create an effect in this particular uh, visual representation or cartoon okay how is it effective? What is this technique doing in this cartoon? That's what they're asking you guys. What is this technique doing? Let's just say, for example, this technique was what? Onomatopoeia or it was maybe um, what? Uh, figurative language, maybe, um, I don't know, man. I don't know, anything that you can think of, right? Imagery or whatever. If this was imagery, they would want to know what effect does imagery bring in a cartoon? Then you explain, guys. This is what we call a um, technical questions, okay, guys? Because you are basically explaining this based on the technicalities of the cartoon, how they wrote it. You are not applying this based on the storyline. So this will make more sense if you watched my English tutorial, as I repeat, right? It's a technical question. Every time we do technical questions, we identify the type of thing that is used, and then secondly, we substantiate our answer. We substantiate our answer okay guys how do we substantiate our answer by mentioning at least two points that tell us how this technique is usually used or portrayed in a cartoon or a comprehension i hope i'm making sense there. if i'm not making sense rewind the video until it makes sense to you okay guys this is a video it's not like a, a, a class or whatever so rewind the video until it makes sense to you discuss ah guys discuss when you see the word discuss, whether it's in a comprehension or cartoon, I want you to think of a discursive essay. I know you're familiar with this because your teachers always make sure that you guys practice this. Now, listen to me, guys. This also applies to grade 11s, right? Because cartoons are a grade 11 thing. Now, listen to me, guys. If you are going to deal with the word discuss, you can also find this information in my previous tutorial, which I did for English home language comprehension. Listen to me. When they say you're discussing, when I focus on the keywords, that's what I always tell people when they're doing comprehensions. Focus on the keywords, right? We are discussing. Ne? So if we are discussing, I'm going to write D. This is how I teach. They know. I'm going to write D. Guys, discussion. Discussion. Or, or a, let's think about a discursive essay, guys. Ne? What do you know about a discursive essay? A discursive essay, they will say to you, you are going to outline the bird. And then you are going to outline the good. And then you're going to try and make the good and the bad come together and give it a great outro, right? Or give it a great ending. Yeah? So let's just say they're telling me to discuss load shading. I will say to them, I load shading is very bad for the country because of this and this and this and this. And then on the other hand, I would say, but load shading should be there because we do not have enough money to find coals and everything and everything and everything like that. Or whatever, whatever, right? Can you see that I tried to bring out the good on the other side and the bad on the other side? And then my closing statement would be, uh, I think we should all find a suitable, you know, efficient solution to bring uh, low shading 
to its knees and everything like that. Okay, guys. So, okay, you see, that's a discursive. So, what does that tell you? As I make this example, you look at this question. Discuss the mother's tone. One, you're going to look at the mother's tone. Ne? You're looking at the mother's tone. One, you look at the mother's tone. Ne? How is the mother's tone? You must identify how is the mother's tone. Okay, tell us how is the mother's tone. Right? How is it? Is it uh, passive? Uh, is it what? Rational? How is it? Okay, let's just say for example, it's passive. Ne? P. You've identified that the mother's tone is passive. Right, so now we have to discuss now, guys. We have to discuss. So when you're discussing, what what's gonna happen now? You are going to give us the bad side of the tone and the good side of the tone. Let's talk about your mother shouting at you at home for doing something wrong. First of all, you'd say, um, uh, the tone did not come out in a great manner because um, it's disrupting the uh, the, the the neighbors uh, next door. She's too loud. And then on the other hand, you say. Uh, but but I was wrong, and I know I made a mistake. So she shared each and every reason to 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 to, you know, her actions were justifiable for her to actually shout at me. Can you see that you're giving both sides to the story, and then after that you summarize what you were saying? Do you understand? So yeah, I'm looking for two sides, guys. Two sides. Think about a coin when you when you talk about discussing. Think about a coin, but it must be summarized on top. Okay, guys. Think about a coin. Taking that coin and putting it in a wallet. So we want two sides of the story and a summarized version that can accommodate both sides. That's what discussing is, guys. Okay. I'm sorry I'm getting carried away. I just like yeah. Alright, guys. Uh refer to frame one and frame two. Explain the boys' attitude and guys explaining. Everyone knows what is to explain, no? You are accounting. Or should I say you are just explaining why. Why is he doing that? Ne. It's for example, if they say, explain why you are short. And if you're a life science learner, you'll say, eh, the genetic coding, what, what, eh, I am recessive, what, I'm recessive, this. Okay, guys, so you are explaining, you are justifying. Ne. So you just want to look at the boy's attitude, you identify his attitude, then you just you justify it. Okay, guys, two marks for free. And that's how we do a cartoon, guys, ne. That's how we do a cartoon when it comes to answering the questions. Listen to me. When it comes to answering the questions. Now, guys. We're going to the second part of this tutorial. Aha. Uh -huh. We're not done. It's not that easy. We're not done. I was just showing you that answering the questions is as easy as the comprehension. But now I have to show you how to analyze the cartoon. Okay, guys? Because analyzing the cartoon seems to be a problem for most of you guys. Okay? So, I'm going to just try and uh, see if I can create something for you guys and see how it's going to work. Okay, guys. So, let's talk about... Let's talk about uh, analyzing the cartoon itself. Okay, I hope you have your pen and, and paper there. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe. I mean it for real. Like, for real, for real. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your friends to tell your friends. Tell your little sisters next year. Everything like that. Please just subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe. I really appreciate that. You really mean a lot to me. Uh, okay, guys. So, the, when we deal with the cartoon, guys, ne, we look at the background first. When I say the background, I'm talking about the setting. Ne? Because at the end of the day, I showed you guys how to deal with the questions. But knowing how to answer a question of something that you cannot interpret or analyze is useless. So now, uh, first of all, guys, I need you guys to, to understand that we have to identify uh, the background. We need to identify the background. Okay, guys. Uh, and then I need you guys to notice that we also have to identify the background is basically the setting, guys. Ne? It's the setting. Where this thing is happening. And then we have to uh, uh, also, also like identify the storyline. Eh? The storyline. The storyline of, okay, what is happening here? How is it going? What is the content in this cartoon? Okay, guys. And then we have to also look at... Um, uh, what, what else do we look at when we're dealing with the cartoon? We have to look at the speech bubbles as well. Which you know. The speech bubbles, the visual representations. Okay, guys, uh, I have to say that you have to look at 
I don't know if I should call them drawings or what or illustrations, right? I, I'm gonna write I. I'm gonna write I. So take note of the illustrations because okay, I'm wrong. It's called a uh, body language, ne? Body language. Sorry for that. It's called body language. So basically, you're just going to identify body language, guys, ne? Body language. So body language, basically, I'm talking about you looking at how this person is reacting to that. As you can see, some of them are screaming. The tongue is out. The body language also portrays a story. You understand? It supports the speech bubbles in a way. And it also gives out emotions and everything like that. You understand? So, yeah. You must also look at that. And then you must also look at the attitude. The attitude of each and every character in each frame. You must look at that and see... And then look at the punctuation, guys. Ne? Look at the punctuation. How something was punctuated, it is meaning, guys. Can you see? The punctuations are just so irregular, especially when it comes to cartoons. And there's always a reason. If a punctuation was omitted, there's a reason. If a punctuation was, was put there in place, there's a reason as well, right? So a cartoon is just like that, right? So look at the body language, the speech bubbles, um, the punctuation, the diction as well, right, guys? The diction. And lastly, the jargon, ne? The diction and then the jargon okay guys i hope everybody understands this part the jargon man so guys all you have to do you have to just remember this whole setup here when you remember all this setup what are you going to do you're just going to say you write this down on a piece of paper then you start doing this background you go to the cartoon now okay background let's see background Okay, they look like they are in the house next to the bed. Okay, you write that down. Uh, next to the bed. Ne? Next to the bed. You see? Next to the bed and stuff. Yeah, I won't finish up that. I know I'm a very bad writer. I'm not good with the green screen. Ne? They are in bed. Let me write bed. Bed. Yeah. And then you go to the next one, uh, which would be... um. What does S stand for, by the way? Uh, all right. Yeah, you go to the next one. It's the speech. Or uh, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm very much forgetful. So you look at the speech and how it was it was portrayed, or the speech bubbles, okay? And how they were portrayed. You go and then you look at the B, which is the body language. So you can tell body language gives away attitude and everything. So you can tell that these two are linked. Right, guys? So, you go there, you get the body language of how the mother is acting in this frame, how the mother is acting on that frame and everything. You take your pencil, you go inside the cartoon and you highlight the uh, the attitude is like this, she's acting like this. So, that will make it easy for you guys to actually understand the cartoon and answer the questions even more faster by un understanding the body language of the characters and the attitude and then the punctuation as well. So, for this one, go back to the comprehension that I, the comprehension tutorial that I did. It's a technical question. So if they happen to ask you about the punctuation of the cartoon, it's a technical question. How so? Guys, a technical question is one which is going to ask you about how this thing was written, not about the storyline. Those who asked my English tutorial know this. It's a technical question. So punctuation, they will ask you, why is there full stop? Why is there an exclamation mark? Why is there this? So when you must always know uh, the usage of punctuation marks. Always know that, okay, a full stop has three uses or two uses. Uh, a comma has three uses, four uses. So you must always know that. And then you are safe. You are guaranteed to be safe. As long as you know that. So, yes. And then the diction as well. And the jargon. You know what diction is, guys, right? The diction, attitude, yes. And then the jargon. Jargon, it's if they are talking about something that is related to the workplace, guys. Né? So if I'm a teacher, I'll talk about the um uh atp which is the annual teaching plan all those kind of things if i'm a mechanic i'll be talking about uh the carburetor the turbo engine and everything like that that's jargon it's a specific type of lingo that is used by certain uh specified prof uh professionals or whatever profession occupation or whatever right so you know if there's a musician they will say hey a rider a studio what do you understand those words. So you take note of those. And then you must also know what is the, the importance of a jargon, guys. Ne? So you must know why are they using a jargon 
uh, in a cartoon and everything like that. So it's a technical question as well, right? Because the jargon is not actually about what they are saying or the content of the cartoon, but it's all about why they used it in the cartoon, right? So when you must know the usage of a jargon, ne? always know the usage of a jargon that, okay, a jargon is used to portray a certain thing or do this or do this, and that's all. And then you are done with your analysis of the cartoon. Then you can just apply your comprehension knowledge uh, to answer the questions and you're going to get free 10 marks. If anything is complicated, yeah, join my WhatsApp group. I send notes on the WhatsApp group. If you don't have those notes, join my WhatsApp group. You're going to get those notes. And uh, ask me any question uh, via my WhatsApp and I'll explain everything. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning into my tutorials. Thank you very much for the subscribers. Keep on subscribing, guys. Keep on subscribing. That's the only way you can pay me back and join my WhatsApp group. Uh, like my Facebook page. Thank you very much. I'll be dropping the next tutorial soon. Thank you. K-Pro. Mari.